Hello and welcome back. This is Steve at Bucks Coins. Welcome you to another coin hunt. Today's coin hunt is a pre-decimal coin hunt. I've got and raided my pre-decimal coin tin and I pulled out a handful of coins for us to look at in this hunt. Let's just take that down a bit and let's bring Right, here we go. Then we'll slice it across a little bit. This coin here is a half penny. Let's get you up a little bit. There we go. This coin obviously is a half penny. It has the Sir Francis Drake ship on it. It's dated 1947. And it's of course it's George the Sixth. This book here, which is Coins of England, the hardback edition, this gives me the mintages of all the coins that I do on my pre decimal runs. And if I get to George the Sixth, it says eventually. Edward the Seventh. There's an awful lot of information in these. George the Fifth, who was George the Sixth's father, of course. And there we go, Edward the Eighth. There is nothing very much of Edward the Eighth, or simply, and at last George the Sixth. He goes through all his coinage and this is where I get all my information from when I'm doing my research. I thought I'd show you this book to show you the sort of thing I do when I've actually got it. So I'm looking here for half pences and here we go, half penny. That one there was 1947. So I looked down to 1947 half penny. Nineteen forty seven half penny. There we go. There's no mintage figures in this book for this particular coin. Which is a bit of a pity. I would use this book, as I say, to get some of the knowledge some of my knowledge. I'd also look in New Mister and several other places online for mintage figures. However, I don't have them to hand for this video, so I thought I'd show you just part of what I do when I'm doing my research. Second coin is a 1964 half penny, which means it's Elizabeth II. Third coin, it's an older style, uh, castellated thre threepenny bit. This took over from the silver uh, threepenny bits, and this one's dated 1941. In the more modern ones, you get the portcullis. In this particular one, you've got the three flax flowers. Next coin is a florin or a two shillings. George the sixth. George the sixth head, obviously, and the date is 1951. This was probably the last year that this this would have been in the last couple of years of George the sixth life. He died at the back end. He died in 1952 when Queen Elizabeth was, uh, took over the throne. Of course, Elizabeth's first coin was 1953. Half crown. This one's 1948, so again it's again it's George the sixth. This one's a slightly different half crown to some of the others that you see in the fact that you have the coronet on both sides of the shield, with George's um, monogram. It's dated 1948, which means say it's just after the silver period for these coins. There you go. 
go to six. You have another half crown. This one's Elizabeth II. It's dated 1960. And as you can see, the difference in the shields there. That one has a pinched in waist with a, mono, uh, with a crowned monogram of, uh, of George. The Elizabethan one, Elizabeth II's one, just has her initials ER on either side of the shield. And the shield has the crown above it. Whereas the one from George II, George VI, sorry, doesn't. Next one we have a penny from 1917. It's a penny, George V, 1917. It's shown some wear on it, which you would expect. It's over 100 years old. Next coin is 1929. But it isn't as heavily marked as the previous coin. It's still George V, but there's nowhere near as much wear or patina on it. This one, as I say, is 1929. So that's what, 17 years? What's that, 12 years later? You don't find some 1960 coins far worse off than that. And the third one in the row, again a 1917 penny, which makes it George V, who's there of course. There's no mint marks on it. It does look as if something has been pressed into this coin with some heavy, with quite some weight, because you have an outline, a circular outline that goes through Britannia's head and all the way round. It's nothing... I can't see it being another coin because I can't see, I don't think there's another coin that size unless you're looking at something like a silver threatening bit. Another half penny from 1965. Elizabeth II a standard half penny coin that we've had a couple of times. I think it's the final half penny coin for this in this particular one. This is 1942, so that's George the Sixth, Queen's father. The boat doesn't look. The boat doesn't look as uh, badly patinaed or doesn't have as much muck on it as it does from the 19 1961. But, uh, 1965 one, sorry. We have another penny. You're not going to believe it. Again, it's 1917. <laughs> George V on the throne. Can't believe that. Three of them in one hunt when you're just picking them out of a. Uh, Picking them out by the handful from the top of coins. This one is George V. However, it is badly marked across the back with Britannia and it is a 1912 coin. Part of the legend, the writing is fading. It looks as if something like some sticky tape or something like that may have been on it at some point in the past. The date on the coin is 1912. Again, there's no mint marks or anything. It's a pity about that because it's a nice coin. And the last one on the pennies is a George V again. So I think all the pennies have been George V. Hey, it's a different date, 1921. Quite a decent, decent coin. There's no rubbing or anything on that. It's in good nick. Here we go. 
there we go here's another castellated threatening bit multi-sided castellated date 1945 so it is the last year of the war which was George the sixth again it has the three uh, the th three stems which I believe is flax George the sixth that's a bit worn a bit mucky but uh, nice back to it the smallest silver coin we've got on this hunt is a 1949 sixpenny bit or tanner sixpence six, sixpenny bit call it what you will it's dated 1949 and it has a regal crown above the monogram of JR, sorry GR, George Rex. It was George VI and if you look at it in between the G and the R on the back is a V1. So it's George, George VI Rex. And then it's George VI on the front. Very nice unusual sixpence in that particular format next one we have a shilling we used to call these bob and we used to do bob a job week when we were in the cubs and the scouts many years ago in the 60s this one here is a shilling or a bob from 1956 it has it is the english coin so as it has the three lions on the shield and the crown above it that's the English version of the shilling coin. It's from 19... Oh, it's 1956, not 1950. I do beg your pardon. This is Elizabeth II. As can be seen on from that one. I misread the date. <laughs> and the last one is a florin or a two bob from 1957. It has the Tudor rose in the centre as all of the two shillings do from Elizabeth's reign. We have also then the thistles of Scotland around the outer edge, the shamrocks from Ireland and the leeks from Wales on this going round and attached to this inner circle. It's dated 1957, lovely coin. Well that's the coins I dragged out for this hunt. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And please, would you subscribe to the channel so I can grow this channel and you know, create more content for you. If you're having a hunt, I hope you find what you're looking for. If you're buying from the internet or from any other source, I wish you well and hope you can get the coin you want for the price you want to pay. Until our next hunt, ta for now.